And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Planet Coaster. And let's see, let's not zoom out that much because it kills my frame rate. All these individual people walking around really starts to hurt it. So let's first place some scenery. Uh, I want to get a few, a few of these put in just for people to take a load off. Helps their energy levels. So we want those in place. Because I'm going to add some more rides here. Let's look at research. The 360 power. That looks like a thrill ride, definitely. Ooh, that's another one. The collider. Oh, I'm definitely going to build that. I love that ride. Okay, we are going to do the this one and track ride. I don't need those right now, so let's do the coaster. So, we are going to build this ride. Yes. I, I know this ride as the Enterprise. Or I'm familiar with it as the Enterprise. But it goes by many names. Obviously, they're probably trademarked. So we will do our best. So place entrance. I'm going to place the entrance over here. Oh, do I want to place it over here? Yeah, I kind of want to place it over here. So we're going to place it right by those stairs right there. And then the exit can go right over here, right by these stairs. And we're going to connect it up. I'm going to go out a little ways and then in. That way I can, like, build something. Something fancy. Give a little path extras over there. Okay, what is the money? Six. I'm going to knock that down to five. And the sequence. Uh, clockwise route. Uh, we're going to knock one of those out. And we're gonna, we have to test it. Not going to ride this one, it just goes round and round, and then it lifts up. So as it spins, these cars, due to that lovely centrifugal force, go out, and then it, then it will lift up. And there it goes. It's a very fun ride. At any rate, let's uh, look at our scenery. Uh, customize, I'm not sure if I can do anything on the building itself because it's round and it's a special building. So I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna do that in a second. Uh, but yeah, there it is. Beautiful. And I cut one of those off just to make it go a little bit faster so the duration of the ride isn't so much. We're able to push a, a few more people, and that's why that's one of the reasons I made it a little cheaper. It's because we don't need it to be super duper expensive. And it should slow down. These will go back down, and then it'll be... Then it'll be done. Hopefully that also lowers our nausea a little bit. So as soon as it finishes, I should know, testing. So yeah, it did lower our nausea a little bit. So we're gonna open it up. And let's see what we can do about some scenery. Uh, props. Could add 
maybe add a building to this. There's the festive stuff. Um, custom. Walls. Well, this is more sci-fi, but we're kind of in the middle of not having sci-fi yet. Maybe I'll specialize one of these wings, maybe out here. Could be like a sci-fi theme. Not really many sci-fi buildings out there. Um, that's gingerbread stuff. I don't want that. How about some wallage? Uh, let's do this first. Uh, put this right in there. Uh, Z. Okay, that goes there, and I can put one. Um, I was hoping to put it right on the inside of that, but I guess what I could do. Well, I'm gonna have to rig something else up here. So there is one wall there. One wall there, and let's get a two-footer and put that up like that. There we go. And let's see. Uh, get a topper here. Oh, that's not really what I'm going for. Any other roof parts? Any ones that don't look corny? Oh, there we go. That looks a little bit better. Put down each side like that. And the other side can just go straight across. Unless I want to get really fancy with it here. You go out like this. Oh, that doesn't match up. I'm going to cancel that attempt. Put that there. And it's not the same texture. That's not the same texture. That is, though. So that's weird. Ooh, that, that could work. There. And there. So I need to mirror that over on this side. Let me grab whatever that arch thing is. Is it this one? It is. And then... I think it's this one here. There we go. A very interesting looking design there. Uh, let's look at roofs. And we don't really need a fancy roof on this. Not really going for anything too fancy, but I do want to put some stuff in here. So let's look at scenery, uh, props, and look at what we can do in here. We're going to make this a little, little macabre here. Okay, let's put that there. Let's see. Don't need any of those. Let's see here. Like I said, this this sort of thing takes a while, which is why I don't do it very much. Oh, look at the size of that arch. That is massive. Did not think that was going to be that big. Okay. Let's look at 
some other stuff here. Angry pirate. He's angry because his buddies are dead. And let's see, we're going to have this pirate taking cover behind something over here. Put that in in a second. And we're going to have a red coat in here and maybe out here. Sort of po pointing the right way. He's kind of point he's kind of firing at him. And we need something for him to hide behind. That is a little large. That could be like a table. It's like that. Taking shelter behind the table. There's the rock skull. <laughs> little on the large side though. Go lamppost. That might work. Well, put that over here. Okay. Snowman, yeah, yeah. Spooky vines. It's kind of an old building. It could be overgrown. Put these right in the corner. Like that. With a nature. Let's see if we have some ivy that we could slap onto the side of this here. Um, well, how did I get two things in there? What? How did that happen? Uh, we're going to duplicate. There we go. Much better. Seaweed? Seaweed might work. No, that wouldn't work. I don't like the, how that looks. Where's my ivy? There we go. Uh, we want that. We're going to hit X and rotate that this way. There we go. And we're going to pop that right over the top. There we go. Let's see what our Q rating is on this. 52%. That's not too bad. Uh, let's look at roofs. Uh, I want to edit this building. Just so I can stay on that grid. And let's see. I don't want a gingerbread roof. That would be a little weird. So we're just going to pop a good old arbitrary roof in here. Again, I'm holding shift to set the height of this. Just like that. Now we can put some windows in. These are just mainly decorative. A pirate door. That works. That's a door, not a window, but this is sort of a interesting design anyway, sort of off the cuff. <clears throat> Those are all doors. I want some windows. There we go. Couple over here. 
That should help a little bit. 58% Q. This isn't bad. <clears throat> okay, let's look at some scenery now and look at some props just to maybe throw in a couple other props. Campfire. Give ourselves some mood lighting here. And let's see. Some dynamite. Dynamite is always good. There we go. And I think that's probably a good place to call it there. 61 rating. Uh, not really filling up the way I thought it was going to. How's this Q doing? Still queued up. It's good. Got quite a few people in here. <coughs> oh. All right. We've got the Collider, a.k.a. the Enterprise, in here now. And it's been decorated. What's its prestige? Yes, prestige is pretty low. I'm not too worried about that. We might want to do a marketing campaign. I did add some scenery out here, and the the prestige on this really went up when I did that. And now we've got quite a few people uh, riding this ride now, which is excellent. It's very, very good. And I do want to put another one of these memento things over here. I think that would be a good spot for that. Give a little scenery. So let's see. Uh, extras, gift shops. Is this it? I think it is. So let's throw this right in here. There we go. And these should sync up. So all the prices and everything sync right up. The only thing that's different is these these vendors are not trained yet. So the two people in here are not trained. And i got to wait a little while before I can actually train them. So yeah, that's... That's good. Bring a little people over here, get them to buy some more stuff. And maybe ease the the major congestion that's over here a little bit. Just a massive amount of congestion in here. Move those people along and spread out my park a little bit. If this has been fixed, what's the uh, maintenance on this? Okay, your wear and tear is just fine. How about the madness? Madness is okay. Canyon Runner is okay. That one's okay. That one's really going through wear and oh yeah, I think I know why. Uh, we don't have a, a maintenance guy on this side yet. We need to take care of that really quick. We're gonna do a new roster and we're gonna we're gonna include all of this stuff here um, so this is all going to be included and maybe even include this one here and this is going to be uh, south wing save work roster let's go to mechanics Take one of these off the entrance and move him onto South Wing. So he should immediately, yep, immediately go towards the Forbidden Distillery. And as such, we're going to raise him up to 340 because he's going to be the only guy working there. Uh, and this guy, East Wing, he is got a normal workload so that's pretty good he's happy with his job and I want to make sure since I m removed him I want to make sure the other guy 
is working on all things now. Because he's the only one on the entrance. So everything is good there. How are my janitors doing? Happiness is really low. For whatever reason. And why is that? Things are okay here. Okay, well, I guess... Maybe 165. And 145. Give him a little extra money, and that way he has happier thoughts about his paycheck. And maybe stops complaining so much, and his happiness will go up over time. And if his workload goes up, then everything else will kind of follow suit. As well as I need some janitor action. Ooh, look at the people over here all of a sudden. Wow. That happened fast. Everybody wants a balloon. Balloons for everyone. Okay, so obviously this guy needs to get trained as soon as possible. So give this guy some training as well as this person. Give them a little bit of money, give them a little bit of training, and they should go a little bit faster. Amazingly, nobody's actually getting... I want, like, people just to shove each other into this ride here. But we should be making some pretty good money on this. Yeah, we're losing money because it costs... It, the, the profit starts at how much it cost. So... We are making money with it. It just takes a while. And we should have had an ex inspection. Yeah, we're... We should have an inspection as soon as that dude walks over here. Who knows where he is? He's in here somewhere. But yeah, we... This needs to be inspected. There it goes. You see how the wear and tear went back up? After it was inspected? So that's how you keep that keep that up. Any ride that lowers it quickly, you're going to want to change the inspection rate right here. You're going to want to change this to every 10 or every 20 minutes to keep that wear and tear from diminishing. So maybe I want to set this to 20 minutes because it's a really important ride. And I want to set also this one. Uh, although he's actually not doing too bad. Uh, I'm going to keep him around for a while. And I'm going to set this one to 20 minutes. And this will give those guys something else to do as well. So we're going to set this one to 20 minutes as well. And did I set this one already? Yes. Okay. So those guys with no, with low... Workload, this will bump that up quite a bit. But that will do it for this episode. So I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.